Hi, I'm Stacey Bunnan. I work for Just Training Corp. I, I work out of the Empower office in Pine Falls, and I'm usually in the office from Monday to Thursday, 8.30 to 4.30, and I usually work home from home on Fridays. And you can contact me through my email address, which is justtrainer1 at gmail.com, or you can phone me on my cell, which is 340-0854. Um, my manager and the other employment counselor is Vanessa Massingham, and you can reach her at the Lucky Bonnie office. And our number there is 345-2686. And her email address is justtraining at gmail.com. I just have to remember. <laughs> uh, usually when we have people come in to meet with us face-to-face, -face, we ask that they wear a mask and follow the strict protocols for COVID. Um, if we can't meet you face to face, then we have stuff online through our website that you can go to, or, you know, just email us and then we can send it through the email, all our, our forms. And if you really need to see us face to face, we usually can Zoom or we can team collaborate or we can FaceTime you if you have a that on your phone uh, and it's you know we're very open to whatever suggestion you have and in, in ways to get contacted through us um, again um, you know I want to acknowledge with the utmost respect the indigenous peoples of Treaty 1, Treaty 3 and Treaty 5 on whose ancestral lands we work and live and equally extend my thanks to the federal and provincial government for funding for Just Training Corps um, Again, you know, when we first meet with clients, we always do the intakes. And the intakes, again, are our way of keeping track of the, our numbers and being... This is where we usually find out what the client is coming in for, whether it be for job search or resume and cover letter or interview or career planning or... Anything else that they, they might need us to help them with um, is we'll, we'll usually help them to if they need to be direct, what direction they need to go if they need to look for SIN numbers and we'll usually give them all that kind of, you know, well, all that information that they need when they need it. Um, today, I think I would like to talk about putting together a resume and a cover letter when seeking employment. Um, I'm finding more and more often that when clients come in, they don't even realize how much skills they have and how much talents they have. They come in just thinking about the current job they're on and, and what they've done in that job. And they don't even see skills that they've had, say, from high school or from other areas that they've worked and, and, and bringing those skills forward to even look further beyond the job they might be looking for and thinking, hey, maybe if I look at it this way, I'll find a different area to go down. And seeing their confidence start to build when they are, are made aware of, hey, I actually do have those skills. Like, um, I had a, a young woman come in that was a homemaker. She says, I've just been a mother for 15 years. And I said, well, that's a skill. And she's like, really? I said, well, yeah, as a mother, you are a provider. You are a mentor. You are a role model. You are even a first aid respondent. I said, you are there to monitor your children, to give them proper direction, to teach them basic life skills, to help them grow to become the people they need to be in the world. So think of it in those terms, that these are skills you are already providing. These are lessons you're teaching. These, you know, you think of it in those kind of terms. And a counselor, grief counselor, you know, and just making her see different avenues that she wasn't looking down. That she was just thinking in, just this, you know, just what's here and now and not looking more forward and 
all around her and it's like a 3D 3D view of her whole life that this these are the skills that I'm bringing forward with me and seeing the change and the light in her eyes when she was able to put that down onto a piece of paper and to validate it for herself and see like hey yeah this is what I'm bringing forward and I'm pretty confident in that my skills are are good for this job and I said and this is part of you selling yourself for the person that you're coming to be or do an interview with but first and foremost you got to sell yourself on paper I said and this is where we're going to work with you on seeing your skills your work experience yeah, your education and then you know your your references people that'll back you up that'll say yeah I've worked with her yeah she's great yeah 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 these are the things that we're going to put onto paper for you and when you have your resume done it's always good to do a read through and a re-edit you know you want to you want to do that at least three times to get it right till you're really confident that this is what you want to set out to the employer and, and the thing is you notice every time you go back there's something you might want to add more so you, when you come in to do resume expect that you're going to do these in more than once that you're going to have to come back and do it again and then again and then maybe again so you know look to more than two visits because you want to get it right because you want to get it right to get the job. And in order to get it right, you got to put in the work and the time and the effort. And I always say this to our clients, are you worth it? And they go, well, yeah, I'm worth it. Well, yes, then put in the time and the effort and show me that you're committed to doing this because that commitment, that commitment will show on paper, but it'll also help me market you. And if I can market you, then you will get a job. And that's where that confidence, they have to be confident in, okay, let's do this. Let's get the work done. And having to pull that out of them in little increments and making those openings for them to be comfortable enough to share what they've experienced in life. So, you know, the term counselor, employment counselor, yeah, it really is to counsel you, to bring out all those good things from you and to put that on paper so that your future employer or whoever you're going to go for a job will see you've made a concrete effort and that you are definitely worthwhile and that this is what you can bring to their organization. So once you're done your resume, we can move on to the cover letter. And this is where you have to put down, yes, I'm applying for this job and I would be good in this role because I can do this. And I can bring this, and I can do this again. And then when you do your cover letter again, like I said, we will we'll have to review and edit and review and edit. But like I said, when you put in that time and effort, at the end of the day, once you're proud of what you've done there, and with confidence go out and give it to your employer, you know you've put your heart and soul into that. And this is what we're trying to build up in you is that give you that right path to be on to go and meet those employers and be confident in yourself and be buoyant in what you know and and share that with different people and, and say, yeah, I can make a difference if you'll let me make a difference. And I can be that person you want me to be because I know I, I've already done it. So as a, pers as a prospective client, generally I would meet and talk to you first about, okay, what, what kind of plan do you want to put into place with me right away is, what are you really going to look at first in your resume? What do you want to put down on there? And then, and then going through it piece by piece. And this is where you have to let me know where you have boundaries up where your boundaries are and and working past or building the ladder over those boundaries 
so that you know we can get beyond things and work together in a really good way that helps you and you know helps me help you so I usually provide all kinds of formats for resumes templates and it's up to the client what they want to put and how they want to use their their information but everything that they they bring into just training is confidential first and foremost nobody sees any of your information except me and Vanessa and of course whoever you're going to give your resume to um, I really we really pride ourselves on our being adhering to strict confidentiality because you know I wouldn't want anybody knowing my business either unless I was willing to share it so I always think about putting myself in the client's shoes and meeting their needs the best way that I can uh, I always want them to feel at ease and I, I'm, I'm always good for uh, opening looking for openings for okay if you let me in I promise I won't mess you about we'll get down to work and we'll do what we need to do to get you where you need to go and you know that's I think both Vanessa and I we work really hard and we strive very hard to do that for every client that comes into our office and I love seeing the changes that they go through in this process and seeing the commitment in their eyes and then knowing their self-worth and knowing the confidence is built up because they've put in the work so with resumes that's where I see all the really good action is okay we're gonna put it onto paper and now you're gonna you're gonna really see what you are made of I said so this is the paper part and the cover letter is also another piece of the paper but ultimately you have to sell it you have to sell yourself to the employer so we can get you there if you let us and we'll do the very best we can uh, again you know if you need any confirmation from us with uh, the protocols regarding COVID just phone us and let us know and we'll try our very best to meet with you whatever way we can like we, we're pretty much open to trying to meet your needs wherever we are if we need to come out and meet you then I'm pretty sure we can do that. Um, we usually do it over the internet, we usually do it over the phone, we usually, whatever way we can, whatever. And I always have my phone on me. <laughs> so my phone comes everywhere with me, so I'm really easy to get into contact with. And yeah, I, I, I like when people leave me messages if I'm busy. And yes, being an employment counselor is busy work. But I promise I will get back to you as soon as I can and we will work towards building a really good resume and cover letter.